Okay, so today what we're gonna do is I'm gonna take uh, just a quick second and show everybody what's going on with these carbs and uh, how they operate. So if you look at the carb here, this right here is uh, your idle screw. If you get back up here, this is your jet screw. You don't wanna touch that. Um, you start messing with that, you start messing with the jet. You, you don't wanna be doing that. Um, right here, this is where your throttle body moves up and down. So we're gonna go to the other side of the bike. I'm gonna show you this hose placement. So you'll see your fuel line coming in here. It comes off the bottom of the tank runs through here, the filter right here, and then the, the fuel line runs over the, the top of the carburetor. So we're gonna go to the other side now. Okay, so on this side, we have a whole plethora of hoses here, but it's really not that hard. The one that goes into the side here, right there, see my finger on it right here? That is actually a, a, a vent. So it goes back up uh, to your charcoal canister uh, for your EVAP system. Then you'll come down here, you'll see that there's another uh, fuel pepcock on this side. It's the same as the one on the fuel tank, but the gas line that I just showed you runs into that fuel pepcock right there. Then you're going to have another little line coming off the bottom of the carburetor here, and that's just a vent line. So it vents out the bottom of the carburetor. You don't have to worry about it. It runs down uh, underneath the engine and it, it, it vents air there. So this line here, right here, is a vacuum line. Again, it goes into your EVAP system. This right here is your fuel line and it goes into the fuel pepcock. All right, guys, that's a quick explanation on the X22 car.